Hi everyone, I am here with Mario Miranda. He is an insurance agent uh, located here in Cuenca, although you cover the entire country of Ecuador, correct? Correct. And Mario is going to spend some time explaining a little bit more about the whole insurance process, pros and cons between private and public, what's available, et cetera, et cetera. So we really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Before we jump into all of that good stuff though, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, definitely, yes. Well, uh, you already said my name. My name is Mario, Mario Miranda. I've been in the prepaid medical insurance business for the past eight years, uh, mainly working with expats mm -hmm. because of the language and because of the system, you know, the, that the need, needs to be explained how the system works. And that's what I've been doing for the past eight and a half years or so. Where did you learn to speak English? Uh, I, I went to school in the States back in 69. I attended the uh, University of Illinois, Circle Campus in oh, Chicago. Yes. Very cool. Uh, Amelia is from Chicago. Yes, I am. <laughs> you were there at the same time, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, um, but I came back many years ago. Mm -hmm. And I came back to the city of Quito, where my parents were alive. And when my parents passed away, we moved to Cuenca, where my wife is from. Mm -hmm. She and 150 people that are related to her. Wow, she has a big <laughs> 12 family. Brothers, 12 brothers, 6 brothers, and 6 sisters. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. As an Ecuadorian family. It could be an Ecuadorian <laughs> family, a typical Cuencana family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, we're really happy you're here in Cuenca, and again, thank you for taking some time to speak with us today. So let's go ahead and get started, and I think maybe uh, we should start with learning a little bit more about the IESS, or the public health insurance that's available here. Uh, yes, uh, the IESS, it's um, mm -hmm. run by the state, you know, government uh, run by the government, and like any other institution that's run by the state or the government, has its flaws and uh, it's a uh, these pros are inexpensive. Right. The cons will be like uh, there are no medicine available all the time. The appointments for you know to schedule an appointment will take more than two or three months. Yeah, I've and heard that. For the cost, I believe the private medical insurance company can offer with uh, low cost, uh, you know, plans with low cost. Of course, the low cost coverages have high deductible. Okay. High deductible, low cost. Okay. You can find plans that will cost you seventy-five dollars a month, mm -hmm. again, versus eighty or the same premium that ISS will charge. Oh, you. okay. Okay. So, but the deductible is higher. But the deductible is higher, you know, is, that's the only difference. But if you may, you can manage to pay out of pocket, you mm -hmm. know, a small uh, med medicine that is not too costly or, or the doctor's visit once in a while, you can be better off with a low cost premium private company. Correct me if I'm wrong, but for the IESS, isn't there certain hospitals that you have to go to? But then there's other hospitals that you can go to with the private insurance. Is that true, or, or can you go to any hospital? No, you cannot go to any hospital unless you make arrangements with the IESS, okay. and they grant you that. Otherwise, you have to go to their facilities, okay. and that's it. Okay. All but right. you have to have some connections and do some lobbying in order to be able to have them refer you to a private hospital. Okay. There are very few private hospitals that are, that have uh, agreements with the ISS. With the ISS. Okay. Even though they are fewer now because ISS have been paying the private hospitals for the past five years. So the debt oh, from I heard the that. ISS to some private hospitals is huge. I heard that. That is so a thing. So some private hospitals have dropped. Okay. That, that kind of, you know, I see. Arrangement. arrangement. Okay. So there are very few private hospitals still have that arrangement with the IESS. Okay. So you pretty much have to go to the IESS hospital unless it's something very specific that they can't treat. 
That's right. Yeah, that's okay. correct. Well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's really good to know because yeah. I didn't totally understand that. Mm -hmm. And also, the, there, we should qualify high cost versus low cost. So high cost here is still low cost in our mind. <laughs> my insurance, when, when it was canceled after my back problems, it was 1200 a month. And that was a $10,000 deductible. Wow. So when you say high cost here, we're talking, what, 150 200 maybe $300 a month at that well, cost? Well, the, the plans, the different plans that private companies offer, Depends on the, the age you are. Okay. The age bracket, mm -hmm. you know, uh -huh. the younger you are, the less you want to pay. Uh, depends on what plan you want to get uh, enrolled or mm -hmm. affiliated. You know, it starts with a ten thousand dollars coverage mm -hmm. per year per incident. Then they have, they can offer you the thirty thousand, fifty, seventy, up to a hundred thousand. Okay. And if you are sixty years old you will have a moderate premium mm -hmm. until you turn 66. But then the premium will remain all those years until you turn the higher age. Okay, until so 66 you turn the next to, to the next bracket. That's I correct. see, okay. So yeah, the average will be 150 to $200. Really. Okay. If okay. you join together as a couple, mm -hmm. there'll be a small discount. Okay. And then it could be good break you know to, to have a lower cost but that's the, the average uh, premium okay cost for 150 to 200 dollars depending okay. on what kind of a plan you you decide to choose okay and I and I know from our experience that there's different types of coverage like you said so all the way from as low as 10,000 up to a hundred thousand and then I think part of some of the plans is that you can pick I don't know if picks the right word, but they allow you to go to different hospitals, is that correct? Oh, definitely. Most of the companies, private companies here have uh, uh, a network of hospitals and clinics that they work with. And most of them have the, be the best hospitals mm -hmm. in each town in the city, in, in, in the country. Here in Cuenca, Confiamed has mm -hmm. hospitals like Santines, Hospital del Rio, Latino Clinic, Santa Ana Clinic, Hospital San Juan de Dios. Mount Sinai, right? Um, Mount Sinai? No, Mount Sinai is not in the network, but has arrangements mm -hmm. okay. to cover like x-rays, lab tests, okay. and some private uh, specialists. But the ones in the network are the, the only ones that mm -hmm. I mentioned. That's a lot. That is a lot. Yeah. And they're all good. Yeah. They're all good and hospitals. The most in the best hospitals that Confirmate has in the network uh, is in Quito. Mm -hmm. There oh. are over 20 hospitals. Wow. The best ones in there. In Guayaquil, yeah, they have uh, OMI Hospital in Kennedy, the Kennedy Clinic. And OMI Hospital is considered one of the best in South America. Oh, I That's in, that. located in Guayaquil. And they have uh, some other clinics and hospitals. In, Small towns like uh, San Clemente or Bahia, Manta, uh, Ibarra, other cities. Uh, okay. Uh, but if you have any problems, any issues, medical issues in a town where there's no hospital that is a, in the network, you can still use that and collect your bills and get reimbursed. Okay. You'll be reimbursed 80%. How does that process work if you need to get reimbursed? Well, you just collect the bills. You have to fill up a form. Mm -hmm. And the form needs to be turned in to your agent. Okay. And the agent will, will handle that. But also, some of the private companies will have the copay system. Right. Okay. Okay. You contact the toll-free number to schedule an appointment. You can ask, you know, which doctors or which specialists are part of the network, and then you can schedule your appointment with that uh, specialist. Go to the hospital, go to customer service, and just pay the copay. With Confiamed, you just pay a uh, $6 copay. Okay. That's Confiamed? Yeah. yeah that's what the, that's same is, the same uh, will apply to lab tests, and x-rays, and so forth. So you just pay the copay, and you don't have to bother with the reimbursement. Oh, okay, fees. gotcha. 
Well, that's a lot easier. Yeah. There are very good companies here, again, like Confiamed, Humana, Salud, Humana, Humana, Salud, SA. What I'm referring to be good companies because they have a strong, very solid financial backing. Yeah. Okay, so you know that this, these companies will not go under or right. will file Chapter 11 or they will not be, or they will hesitate to pay your reimbursement. Right. But these companies that I mentioned are very solid, very, you know, outstanding companies. Mm -hmm. And some of, some of them been in this business for over 20 years. Oh, okay, great. So that gives you the confidence yes. that, you know, that they, they will be so, uh, Solid, you know, so yeah. they'll right. be here when yes. we need be here when, exactly. when, when needed. <laughs> yes, know. that is a concern. Yeah, and Mario, you mentioned earlier that it's, it's important that you have an agent that can speak English. And why is that? I know in the States, once we sign up for our insurance, we never see our agent again, usually. Especially in my case, I do it because I know the lack of link of the language mm -hmm. and the lack of knowledge of the system. Uh, adding that. Uh, service will help a lot. You know, that, that's more like for the human side of you know, right. helping. And also, I have to add the five thousand dollar deductible has a, a seventy five dollars or eighty dollars a month premium, and that's which is compared per person compared to ISS. Maybe it's the same, okay, but right. that again, you have private service. Uh, immediate service or whenever you require. Mm -hmm. And what about pre-existing conditions with uh, both public and private? Well, the pre-existing conditions, uh, actually the ISS has established that policy of waiting periods as well. Okay. Before there was nothing like that. But now, right nowadays the ISS establishes a, a waiting period. Is it the same two years? Or? I'm not sure. But uh, it's I new. It's relatively, it's relatively new. It's new, but but in the private uh, sector or uh, private mm -hmm. uh, uh, companies, the waiting period depends on the seriousness of your pre-existence. Oh, okay. okay. If it's a minor, uh, minor, or mild, minor, My minor, minor pre-existence could be six months or a year. Okay. If it's a major catastrophic type of thing, it's two years. It's two years. But after two years, they, they will cover right. total, I mean, ninety percent of the of the mm -hmm. cost. Okay. And like um, as of many pre-existing conditions, it's mostly medicine because you don't proceed with surgery with uh, high blood pressure, right. diabetes. Right. Uh, those conditions are. Chronic, only long term. Long term is mostly treated with right. medicine. I see. So the companies, private companies, will cover ninety percent of the whatever it costs. You know, if you have a a two hundred dollars bill worth of medicine monthly, you can feel sure that they're going to cover ninety percent of that. Okay. okay. And you were mentioning that everything is digital now, so it's a lot easier for people who... So if somebody wants to work with you and they're outside of Cuenca, that's not a problem? Will not be a problem because the forms, you know, enrollment forms, even the reimbursement forms in the contracts can be signed digitally. Oh, great. And, and then I assume that people can ask you questions about more specific... I, I more specific questions about the plans. At any time, say. yeah. It'll be okay. more pressure. They don't have to enroll in any of the plans. Yeah, I'll be more than happy to answer any other questions. And you can help people outside of Cuenca too, right? You have clients in Cotacachi and... Orobado and, and the coast. Okay. Bahia, Manta. Oh. So they don't have to be in Cuenca. They don't have to be in Cuenca. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Well, that's one of the benefits of everything being digital. Yes, it is. For, fortunately for yes. everybody. <laughs> That's, that's correct. It definitely makes life a lot easier. Much easier, yeah. Well, thank you so much once again. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having me here and for being able to answer some of the questions that are sometimes are crucial or mm -hmm. need to be known. Bye! Ciao! Ciao. <laughs>
It was so nice of Mario to come over today. I really appreciate his time. It was great getting to know him better, and obviously it was awesome to have him answer our health insurance questions. Yeah, if you wanna get in touch with Mario, just drop us a note through our contact form on our website, ameliaNJP.com, and I will send an email introduction. Yes, and we wanna give a huge shout out to our new Patreon producers, Michael and Melissa from Longmont, Colorado. Woohoo! <laughs> Hola! <laughs> Hola, thank you guys so much for helping us make this episode. Yes, thank you, we are truly grateful. Yes, we are. For anyone else who hasn't found us on Patreon yet, I will put a link to that in the description below. We already have a very active community of unconventionals over there, so feel free to come check us out and join us if you want to. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And on that note, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a thumbs up. <laughs> and I think that's it for today. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Ciao.